Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Dracula and his son. The scene was rocking, oh, we're digging the sounds. Hey guys, it's J5519 here. I'm going to do a review of the anime a movie called Wicked City. Directed by Ninja Scroll director Yoshiaki Kawajiri. The plot of the story is there's been peace between the worlds of mortals and demons. But somehow the balance has shifted to a different event. And the radical elements from the supernatural are now merging with the human world. And now there's our Earth. Yes. It's split between two worlds. Our Earth is basically there's our Earth and the Black World. A dimension that's similar to our world, where it's everything's humans for us, but for the black world, everything's demonic creatures. And there's this symbolic balance. Now, there are two agents of the civilization called the Black Guards, Taki and Maki, are the patrolmen of the city of Wicked City. This is the dimensional barrier where the demons come from. Their job is to make sure all the demons are hunted down and taken in, so no more merging happens. Well, a catastrophic event happens in Tokyo, and it has our two detectives, Mak Taki and Maki, watched by their cohort, Mayart, and then have to team up to stop the demons. But maybe there's another evil sort for it going on. I mean, it makes a blending of human and demon going on in this. So, our two agents must team up to help with the, along with the organization of the Black Guards to defend it, the world between those colliding and the demons from invading Earth to cause a world-spanning split eradication of mankind for the demons to colonize the Earth. This is kind of an OVA movie from 1987. This is old. It's a horror fantasy animated adventure with two cops basically stopping demons from joining the world. For an evil, you know, demon lord who wants to rule the world, that cliche thing we see in anime. But is it good? Actually, it's not bad. I just had fun with this. The voice acting from the Japanese dub is, is very well done. The animation is very good. You know, it's helped me by Zindu Films. This is the special edition I'm reviewing, the special edition Long Cut, that was released in 87, when it was originally made. The characters, you know, they have your two friends, Daki and Maki. One is, they're both agents, both concerned with the job. Maki is kind of your, I guess you could say, kind of sympathetic guy, but he has a tough exterior. And Taki is the leader. He's the one that wants the mission done. Both do a very good job of trying to get to the whole mission of why the demons are spreading. Then again, if you, don't have that, if you understand the whole idea of the whole humans living among the demons idea, you kind of get an idea of shows like uh, Tokyo Ghoul, or shows kind of like in that kind of demonic, bloody, gory, sexual craving. And actually the dark, weird, sexual content kind of reminds me of, of Daughters of Nisemini, Rin, Daughters of Nisemini, for a little bit, because of the whole crude sexual humor. When a demon gets near a human, they get you know, arouse and they kill him. The soundtrack, very cool, very action-esque, jazzy, techno for the 80s. Kind of what you expect. The action was very nice. People in ruckus, cops coming in, trying to stop the demons. And each case is very different. They don't tackle all demons like a squad. They each, like just like a good murder case, they go to the victim who was summoned by a demon, or they go to that one who's possessed by a demon, and try to exercise them, if not try to bring them to justice, or kill them. I mean, that's the only thing you have to do for a demon. Either you let it kill you, or you kill them. The story wasn't as easy to follow. It's 82 minutes long. You know, it's not that long. It's kind of short. You know, like maybe an hour and a half of it. So, it's kind of fast-paced at points, but it gets right to what it needs to be. The action was very good. The dialogue was, was, was good. You had all these conveying thoughts of, you know, debate, of whether hunting demons is right. And you can always have those characters who want to just get rid of it because they want to save their town, or... You have those characters who are too judgmental, like, oh, I don't want to hunt demons because, you know, some of them could be my parents or all that. And it's a very good dilemma, being this very dark, film noir, also somewhat gothic, kind of, uh, Neo Tokyo. And that was kind of a thing for some anime back in the 80s. It had this very dark, futuristic, kind of film noir, tech noir look to it, which helped develop it as a film. It was very good. There is that kind of whole myth theology of Demons and humans, how they're similar, how they're different, which is kind of cool. They're going to give the rundown, like, why these demons are here, because they want to colonize, you know, they want to colonize the Earth. Everyone knows that they're all part, to bring in this dark, very surreal look to it. And it is very grotesque, people. If you all remember Vengeance of the Overfiend, yeah, it gets to that weird kind of sexual, dark, demonic. Yeah, if you're an anime fan and you want to go old school, then this is the movie for you to start out with 80s anime movies. 
But if you're a kid, I stay away from this because there's a lot of blood, gore, sex, all that demonic possession stuff. Ugh. If you're a kid, stay away. If you're an adult, get ready for a ride. I like the whole dark matter they go to with, you know, demons being the central thesis of why humans are wrong, but there's always that misconcerning concept of to why demons are here. I mean, they, they explain it very good why they're here. They want to, like I just said, they want to colonate and they want to eliminate all humans. And there's that always good versus wrong morality that fits. So those things, those concepts fit really well. Animation was looking nice. The music was very beautiful. The orchestration was nice. The, the cinematography was all right. I mean, it's it's not up to par with the today's animes, but for the time, it did it did the job done. I give Wicked City a four out of five. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out all the vides that I have on my channel for you to view. Sorry about signing off, and see you later.